So do you think that knowing the, the, the players in the league is what went in Bert Van Marwijk's favour ultimately in the end? Because obviously he was the coach that was appointed uh, to start this, you know, this current World Cup qualifying campaign. Was shown the door after a disappointing Golf Cup campaign. But, you know, two wins, two draws from the first four games, then he was shown the door. So the fact now they're looking for almost an emergency appointment again to to sort of steady the ship. The fact that he knows the landscape and can just, it's a bit plug and play. He almost just comes in to, to finish what he uh, uh, or to, yeah, to finish what he started a couple of uh, a couple of months back. Is that what ultimately went in his favour? Do you think? Yeah, definitely, Paul. Look, the the kind of sole criteria for for the new manager since since Louis Pinto left w- was always that they wanted someone who knew the league and knew the players, and um, that's why you had Maddie Ali was was linked heavily with with coming back, and he was strongly considered. Uh, they had mentioned um, Hank Teng Kat, who obviously had great success at Al Jazeera and then managed Al Wada for, for about a six-month period, I think it was. Um, Zora Mamic was someone that they approached and were very keen on getting, but things didn't didn't work out there. Uh, so it was, as I said, it was that was the stipulation. They wanted someone who, who knew the league, knew the players, knew the culture, um, because there's such a quick turnaround between now and, and March when the qualifiers begin again. Um, so, so we find out that Van Marwick was kind of back, back in the equation um, the last couple of days and then things have moved very quickly. But I've, I've spoken to, to members of his, his backroom staff um, in the summer. I, I've spoken to them recently as well. And they, they had always said that, that Van Marwick would have been interested in coming back, that they thought they had unfinished business, that they were on the right track, which you would expect them to say. But the signs were there. As you said, there were, there were four matches in qualification that they played. Um, two wins, two defeats. The, the defeat against Vietnam, um, they were down to 10 men for about 60 minutes and they actually played better than Vietnam uh, away from home. Um, so they can take some comfort from that. But, but I, do, I do think that because of the short turnaround, as I said, um, the state of the group, which in a bizarre way um, is exactly as Bert Van Marwick left it. Um, almost a year ago, there, there haven't been any matches. That, that all kind of led to him being the right man for the job in my opinion I think it's a very good appointment and I'd be very interested to see what he can do going forward and, and hitting the ground running so to speak 